Hey guys, really quick, I just wanted to show you what I'm working on. Um, my camera's getting ready to die, and I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter because I, I gotta learn how to um, upload and change the file of to make them smaller. Somebody mentioned to um, do that, but I don't, I'm not, like I said before, I'm not good with computers, so I haven't quite figured out how to do that. So I'm gonna try to keep this short um, for two reasons. So this is what I've been working on. I wanted, I'm forever showing you stuff before it's finished, but I wanted to get this video up in case anybody um, wanted to use this idea and get on it now so they can actually use it this year. So what I decided to make was an advent calendar and um, this one says days till Christmas and I got this idea years ago from um, Creations with Christina and I think so she has an original uh, her original ones on there and I think she may have even got it from somebody too but I don't remember but I've been had it on my to-do list for a while and I went and bought the Sizzix the top note die I have a cuddle bug so this works in the cuddle bug so I ordered it off of eBay for I think about $19.99 and I use this die all the time, and I'm going to show you it in a minute. But this is the front cover, and I just basically made a book out of old chipboard that I had that I was collecting from the back of, um, like, the paper stacks. Um, and for this one, I used the paper line from Wonderful Winter um, from My Mind's Eye, and I love this stack. And I think it's from 2009, but I bought it in 2010, but so last year. But um, I use this all the time. I love the colors, and I love that they're not all the traditional colors because um, sometimes you want to change up the colors so really quick I'll show you and like I said I'm not finished so here's the front and I just used these little stickers that I had that I think were from my little shoe box and it says days till Christmas and the Christmas I actually cut out of this paper here um, and that made it a lot easier than spelling out individually and just added one of them bows that I showed you in a haul from Michaels I got before so I made the cover and I inked them and I only got so far and what you do is you turn it and I have to use my Tim Holtz thing so I still have to do that yet and where this will hook because right now it's not going to stand up well, maybe it will temporarily by itself so excuse my nail polish my painted my nails and we tried to wipe it off too fast and I haven't had a chance to get it off yet so I just did a few of the pages so far and you basically turn it and you do 12 of them. So I cut them all out in chipboard first and then cut out 24 of these papers, the matching coordinating papers to go with it. And as you see I got to do the back. So I did the front, the one side, almost the one side so far. So I got 24 and mine is counting down. Some people start at one but I'm doing the countdown. So I got 24 and here's my 23 page and I just coordinate, added some coordinating solid paper it's hard to change this and then this one I cut out with doodle charms and it's a little reindeer girl <laughs> um, and just use the paper and just use some ink that my sister gave me um, for the edges some pigment ink so there's 22 and here's 21 I didn't do too many yet and here's 20 so some I use the Cricut, some I use that, but I want to do more cuts with the Cricut. These were some 3D stickers. So I had a lot of Christmas embellishments that I never used, so that works good for these for the different days. Here's 18, and I think that's about as far as I went. Yeah, I'm still working on 17. So I'm going to do the countdown, then, and then once you get down to the bend, and then it flips over, and then it starts going on the other side, which is here where I need to work on. And then for the very last page, I had, um, that's not it. So here's the back and to the very last page so it's going to open like whoops sorry guys i'm trying to do this one-handed so for the christmas day and i have to jazz it up some more but it says have yourself a merry little christmas so that's for day 25. so i just want to share that with you guys it's really easy to do and creations with christina she has um i don't know if she shows you how to do it but she shows you what you you know need to do it but i kind of guessed i did my own measurements and just made a cover you need to make a front and a back and then I have to find it because I bought it a while ago, the Tim Holtz thing. It's like a little chain and you hook it with a brad and that's what's going to hold the back on um, so it stands up for you. But all you need is the top note die, some old, whether it's cereal boxes, chipboard, because mine are a little thick so you might want to do a little thinner. But I just wanted it to last throughout the year so I'm still working on it but I just want to get this video out to maybe give you guys some inspiration or something to work on because this top note die might be a die that you guys have. Um, from stamping up so um, this would be something cute you can make and you can give these out as gifts or you know get them get them going so you have them to uh, use for this year so I just want to share that with you guys and when it's finished I will show you the end product so just want to share that idea with you guys thanks for watching bye